Uh, this is a Sony Ericsson Xperia E uh, C1505. Um, had a look around about disassembling it and struggled to find any guides, so I, I just had a little go and I thought I'd just make a quick video. Um, first of all, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws, uh, all T5, and the silver ones come out of the two top ports here. Um, there's a black cover here that literally just pops off. There's two front connectors. I'll try and get a better shot. When you're looking at it here and here, so you just push them in and this bit comes off. So there's two here and here, two silver screws. Here and here, two silver screws, and then there are three screws. If I can point them out. Uh, one, two, and three. Um, three black ones out in the middle, then silvers top and bottom. So once you do that, you'll run, need to run a case opening tool, and you actually have to go above the uh, bezel. So you'll see the silver bezel, which I'll try and point out there. You run a case opening tool around it, and this is the whole bezel that actually comes off. So, front of the phone. This will be slightly overlapping at the bottom where it looks like you've taken it off. Some of them you take off, you leave sort of like the uh, the bezel on there, but this one it looks like completely comes off. So once you've got the bezel off, and obviously you've taken the you know normal things that you take out at the beginning, uh, battery and back cover, you'll be faced with the board. Now there it will be. I mean I'm taking this one apart because I'm replacing the LCD. So I have a new new LCD that's going into it because uh, the LCD on this one is cracked. The digitizer actually still works now. A lot of the phones at the moment are coming with combined units, so the LCD and digitizer are bonded together, and you've got to replace both. This one can actually separate, and you can replace either, either or. Um, so then, once you've got this, uh, once you've taken everything out, this is what you've got left. Now there will be a black um, sticker covering these two connectors here. These are the connectors for your LCD digitizer. This one at the top with the IC on it is uh, for the digitizer, and this little one here is for the LCD. So um, peel the sticker off, and then obviously these are just the lift-up connections. So you just uh, lift them up and slide them out, um, and that's it. There's no screws that hold the main board into the actual chassis of the handset. The only thing that does connect it is this antenna cable here. So this antenna cable here actually connects to the bottom side of the board, just about where I'm indicating there. So once you take off the sticker and remove those two connectors, you can actually lift this board, and it will. Come. If you lift it up, if you lift it up like that, and then on the other side, you'll be able to disconnect, which is. I can try and focus it a little bit. It's just where my thumb is there. Disconnect that, the whole board comes out. Um, leave this connector in, and that's it really. Um, so then all I've done is run a heat gun over the front of the digitizer, warmed it up to about 90 odd degrees. This is where the connector is, so just be a little bit careful. Use the case opening tool, start it off where the little gap is there, and run the case opening tool around. And then when you lift it up, difficult to do this with one hand, you're going to lift up. The LCD sometimes will stick the digitizer. One second. So you've lifted the LCD and the digitizer out of the frame, and they're here, but they're they're not really bonded together. So you can separate those. Keep the good screen. So the digitizer's still working. Sausages. Nick's a little prick because he's behind me shouting. And uh, yeah, that's it really. Swap the new screen out, put it all back together. There you go.